Hi, you guys. Hi, you guys. Welcome back. Welcome back to Regina Soul Section 8 Hood Channel, baby. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I told y'all I was coming back. Hey, you know I was coming back. Hey, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I told y'all I was coming back. Hey, I told y'all I was coming back. Hey, welcome back once again. I'm Regina, and welcome back to Regina So Section 8 Hood Channel, baby. And today, guess what? We're going to talk about them food stamps. Again, yes, we're gonna talk about them food stamps. Now, did you know that a lot of people be selling their food stamps? It's just reality these days that people sell their food stamps. You know, back in the day, we used to have paper food stamps, and I think um they made it electronically because they thought that people weren't going to be able to sell food stamps. But I guess the government was sadly mistaken. You feel what I'm saying? So with that being said, it's a lot of people out here selling their food stamps. And people sell their food stamps for different reasons. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes people sell their food stamps because they have to. So they can pay a bill or make their end meet on the rent. You know what I'm saying? But... You do you know that it's against the law to sell your food stamps? Yeah, it's against the law to sell your food stamps. You could do some time or get some fines by selling your food stamps. But let me tell you something. I know everybody know that there was illegal to sell your food stamps. But did you know that the person that buys the food stamp can get in trouble too? Can go to jail too. Can get fined too. Yeah, that is against the law. So I'm I'm talking to, and I'm especially talking to the people that be on social media, be talking about um they selling their food stamps, they got this many food stamps to sell, and or the people that be online talking about who got food stamps for sale. Anybody got food stamp for sale? You know what I'm saying? And then to the dumb motherfuckers who be replying saying, yeah, I got food stamp for sale. I'm going to hit you in the messenger. I'm going to hit you in your inbox. Or call me at this number. Or text this and do that. And you sell your motherfucking food stamps. Do you know that social media platforms ain't nothing but another way for the government to find out exactly what's going on with y'all motherfuckers. Y'all know that, right? And I'm going to show you a clipping of Judge Judy. And I'm going to see, do you feel the same way? See, y'all think it's a game. But this ain't no game. And they catch up with a lot of, of y'all on social media. You use your real name. You show where you live at. You show your real family members. You say all their names. You know, you tell what school your kids go to. You know, you they got all this information. They ain't got to do them. Go to your social media page, sweetie. And see your last post was... Anybody want to buy some food stamps? Now, they might ain't caught up with your stupid ass yet, but eventually they will. You know, people talk. You know, people talk, and they could be sitting around a motherfucking caseworker and don't even know that this man is a caseworker and just be running a dick sucker or running a pussy eater. And then next thing you know, your ass have to come in for some questioning about you selling your food stamps. And guess what? They got all the proof online. You can go back and you can delete the shit and I already, somebody already on screen recorded it. Somebody already on already done video recorded somebody already screenshotted it and everything it's always gonna be there even though you delete it just 
know that. But let's get to this clipping, and I'll be back. The case aired on the reality court show Judy Justice in December 2021. Two Milwaukee women, Javala Elons and Katrina Weems, disputing a car sale, but during questioning came to this admission. Ms. Weems was buying stamps and buying what? Buying food stamps. She was buying food stamps from whom? From everybody me included so you say she buys them she gives you money for them yes say if i was to sell her a hundred dollars and stamps she'll give me 50. after the show aired detectives in wisconsin launched an investigation this month prosecutors charged weems with five felonies and four misdemeanors including money laundering and unauthorized use of food stamps Prosecutors also charged Elons with food stamp offenses. Prosecutors accused Elons of selling her stamps to Weems and Weems of buying stamps from multiple people. In the complaint, prosecutors say these surveillance pictures show Weems using illegally purchased food stamps cards. See, one thing about this video right here is they volunteered to tell about the food stamps. You know, the girl just up and talked about it. They was uh, in court for something else, and she just up and started talking about the lady buying food stamps from everybody. But the point that's being made is, y'all keep getting on this social media, talking about, who's selling food stamps? Who's selling food stamps? And Tom, I, I got some food stamps to sell. I got $350 worth of food stamps to sell. Your ass going to jail, and you're going to get some fines behind it. And you know who you are. It's a lot of y'all. I see it every day down my timeline. I ain't got to call your name out. You already know. So you better just quietly handle your business and stay off social media with your food stamp business. I'll be back. Peace.